In this video, we will determine the domain, location of holes, and equations of vertical and horizontal asymptotes of the given rational function. The first step is to factor the numerator and denominator, which has already been done for us. The next step is to find the domain. We exclude the zeros of the denominator from the domain because division by zero is undefined. It's important that we find the domain before we do any simplifying. So looking at just the denominator, notice x plus two is equal to zero when x equals negative two. X minus four is equal to zero when x equals four. And x minus three is equal to zero when x equals three. These are the inputs or x values, which would give us division by zero, which is undefined, and therefore these values must be excluded from the domain. X can't equal negative two, x can't equal four, and x can't equal three, which means the domain is all real numbers except these three values. Let's express the domain using interval notation. Starting on the left, we'd have the open interval from negative infinity to negative two. Union, the open interval from negative two to three. Union, the open interval from three to four. Union, the open interval from four to infinity. The next step is to find the holes. The zeros of any common factors between the numerator and denominator result in holes. So looking at the rational function, notice how there's a common factor of x minus three between the numerator and denominator, and the zero of x minus three is x equals three, which means we have a hole at x equals three, where if we wanted to find the point, the x coordinate would be three. And notice how the function does simplify. The simplified function is f of x equals the quantity x plus four divided by the product of x plus two and x minus four. So the graph of the simplified function is the same as the graph as the original function, except it doesn't have the whole at x equals three. And now to find the y coordinate of the whole, we have to find the function value f of three using the simplified function. So f of three would be equal to, if we substitute three for x, we have three plus four in the numerator, which is seven. In the denominator, we have three plus two, which is five, times three minus four is negative one, which gives us negative seven-fifths. So for our notes up here, let's write the whole at the ordered pair three comma negative seven-fifths. And now let's determine the vertical asymptotes. The zeros of only the denominator, or the denominator of the simplified function, result in vertical asymptotes. So again, we don't include x equals three as a vertical asymptote because it is also a zero of the numerator. We only want the zeros of the denominator, and again, we know x plus two is equal to zero when x equals negative two, and x minus four is equal to zero when x equals four. These are the two equations for the vertical asymptotes. And when we give the vertical asymptotes, there are lines, so we should give equations. Again, we have x equals negative two, comma, x equals four. And now the last part of the question asks for the horizontal asymptote. To determine the horizontal asymptote, we need to determine what function value we approach as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. So as x approaches infinity, we need to determine what function value we approach. And we can determine this by looking at the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice how the degree of the numerator would be one because we have x to the first here. And the degree of the denominator, if we multiply this out, would be degree two, which means as x approaches infinity, the denominator is increasing faster and therefore the function values are approaching zero. And because the function values are approaching zero, we know y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote. Before we verify this graphically in the homework, you are only asked to enter the x values for the locations of the holes in the vertical asymptotes. So again, we have a hole at x equals three, and we have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative two and positive four. Again, let's verify this graphically. Looking at the graph, notice how there is a break at x equals negative two, a hole at x equals three, and a break at x equals four, which verifies the domain. 
we do have a hole at 3 comma negative 7 fifths, which is here. We have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. And we do have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. I hope you found this helpful.